hello, a big hello from um, a little restaurant called La Caya, a receive on the island of Lanzarote, hmm. with a beautiful view behind us. It's very picturesque, I would say. This, this episode we're going to talk about what we do while we're on passage. A lot of my family members, my mom especially, ask, her, ask me over and over, what are you doing on a 32-day voyage? Yeah, well, a day is very long. What do you do the whole day long? <laughs> and, and that lasted for 32 days. <laughs> So when we go on passages, and, and we do we do sail a lot, we I think we traveled the last, yeah, since February, which is what, about four months, four last months. four or five months, we have actually done 60 different latitude yes. degrees. And I think one of the first questions that they all pop up is, how do, you, how do you manage at night, you know, do you sleep, how do you manage? So, um, Obviously, everybody works on schedules and shifts when they're on passage. Uh, we started off with a three-hour passage, uh, with three-hour shifts at night and four hours during the day, and then we'd start at night at six o'clock, and it worked brilliantly. But then, as we got into the swing of things and we could handle cooking and everything on the boat, that is the, the nicest hour of the day to watch the sun go down. And then it's, it's like, you, you can't go to sleep and not watch the sun go down. So we moved our ships. We started at 7 o'clock at night. So you'll have your four, three, four hour shifts at night. And then the last one that goes on shift in the, or off shift in the morning gets to lie in. So you have a bit of a sleep in then. Let me put it in more nicer technical <laughs> terms. So we start at 7 o'clock. So we will have dinner in a front cockpit, which is the Leopard 45 is absolutely awesome. And I don't care what Other people uh, think. Ruby Rouse is thinking about this. I think Nick is completely wrong when it comes to the forward cockpit. But that forward cockpit, we actually almost every evening wanted to sit there, having a sundowner, having our dinner. And it was just such a nice place to be. And I mean, if you go on these long voyages, you, your passages, you're actually there. And especially the people that will do the trade wind things, they will be always sitting at in the front co forward cockpit. And so we were sitting there, so we will start at 7 o'clock. So dinner is everything, dishes is washed by 7 o'clock, sun is down. And then we will do all the way to 10 o'clock, do a shift change. And then one o'clock again in the morning, another shift change. And, and four o'clock yeah. in the morning, another shift change. And then that person, when they go off shift, will sleep. They, they actually technically need to wake up at seven o'clock again. But then you can sleep until you feel rested and you wake up naturally. And then you just, so you know, well. so there's no laying in. Yeah, well, you, you sleep until, until you wake you, up, until you and wake up and then you know you're quite well rested so yeah. then you can come up and normally we start a brunchy thing or something no, like that then to, uh, during the day we don't really watch the watch um, the clock we sleep on demand so if I'm tired and he's fine then I'll go and have a quick snooze or vice versa so we don't go because it's supposed to be Three yeah, hours, so the day the watches, day. actually we didn't have day watches. We are 
always on a boat, we always have a tablet or some instrument, watching the instruments. So we can see the radar, we can see the, the, the AIS around us, we can see the wind direction, we can see the wind speed, we can see everything. So we have a tablet that's going with us, wherever we work or stay or something. So we have a, as you can recall, we have a Raymarine inside the saloon, we have a Raymarine up at the helm. And then we have a tablet that is also mimicking whatever instrument we want to mimic and that, that tablet is in a, in a back of the uh, cockpit or in a forward cockpit at in the Wherever we sit, yeah. yeah. So who, whoever's turn it is to um, go off duty, we make tea for the two of us, and then you wake the other one up and then over a cup of tea we dis discuss what happened. No, no, if you waiting. go to sleep you... I normally just make, I wake you up and I make like, a cup of tea. Or you wake me up and you make me a, a cup, cup of tea. But yeah, at a cup of tea we actually discuss what ships is in, a, if there's any. Um, any ships that's approaching, what is the wind direction, what is the wind speed, what What's is the sail state, the sea mm -hmm. state. So we, we, we just normally have a handover while over a nice cup of tea. The one that's going to sleep doesn't need to have a cup of tea. No, because you don't want to be working up by the later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the little sleep you have, you have to... Change. Yeah, yeah, you want to sleep for that three hours. So there's a little handover routine between the two. Uh, we have some, say, fixed duties or that we try to do at certain shift changes. So there's seven o'clock at night shift. When, when I go, for example, at seven o'clock at night on shift, I take, bring in the fishing lines because the sun is in setting we also switch on the navigation lights so the navigation lights is on while Pietro will be making the, 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 the supper or dinner or our meal we will I will then download the weather which is just like pressing a button and wait and she's doing all the hard work um, so from that side, when we're actually having the dinner, we discuss the weather patterns for the night and whether we should reef or not reef or things like that. And if we see we will be able to sail for six hours and then reef, then we will also sail for six hours and then, and then reconsider it every night shift. Well, obviously, if there's something happening, then she will wake me up or if I know I cannot handle it, I will also wake her up. Then in the morning, when the other person is, is, is basically sleeping in at around 7 o'clock, we put the lines out again, put the navigation lights on and also download the new weather. weather. Uh, so we can have, we always, every 12 hours we have a weather update. Mm. And that it right? does change, yeah, so you yeah. need to do it every 12 hours. Yeah, and then the, basically the day starts, so then it's time to do, as you know from previous episodes, we don't really do breakfast, so then we'll do a brunch, and then the day starts, um, eating. Some days it's like just snoozing, nice sailing, just, just minding the wind and making sure that we're going in the right direction. But there, there is definitely routines. There's definitely routines. So your, your daily checks, um, but we're going to do an episode on the daily checks. Yes, I will do detail. an episode on all the daily checks that I normally do, like the engine checks, the rigging checks and stuff like that. I normally, if you need to work the chrome, for example, now we, we need to clean the chrome and making sure they're not rusting and there's lots of salt built up going on. So as I go then around about doing all the chrome finishing and making sure they are clean and they are rust, or rust block, I apply a rust block to them. So all of that, then I actually noticed some little things that we need to do. And that is things that I will also say what I'm checking and how do you know you need to do uh, maintenance work on that. Um. Obviously we don't do an engine check every day. Eh? Mm. But we do, like she was mentioning, Petru said, we do check the bulges. So I do open and make sure the engine is not flooded. It did happen one day yeah, <laughs> that our engine yeah. was flooded. Yeah, because we, uh, yeah, we just heard this pump going, this was pumping, pumping, pumping. You couldn't figure out what it was. And that's when you open the engine room and there's halfway full of water. Yeah, no, it was not good. <laughs> it was our, our Luckily, we only have 400 shower. liter. <laughs> we have two 400 liter fresh water tanks and, and one drain. <laughs> completely. All fresh water gone. Yeah, yeah, so that was a bit of a gnarly one. Yeah, and that was very quick. Huh? It was, <laughs> yeah. it was between quick. our checks. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, then it's, then it's getting to the midday. It's still movie making takes a lot of time. That, that, yes, it that, does. That takes up a lot of your day. And then, as, as we said, the checks, and then it's supper time again. It's planning supper, cooking supper, doing dishes. As, as you might so it's like might have seen on Facebook, we, we had our first patron on board, and Jean sailed with us from one island to another island. <laughs> it was pretty exciting. Not sure Jean really expected that. We yeah, actually we're also <laughs> thinking it was pretty hectic. Was like hectic winds and the sea state was... A 17-hour trip turned out to a 36-hour trip. Yeah, it was two nights that we had yeah, to so actually be on duty. Way longer. <laughs> um, but during that time, we decided we will not do any movie making. We will not oh, work. Yeah, um, um, so that's why this movie is a little bit late. I it's just not fair on them to be, because mm. as I said, you really spend a lot of time behind the laptop. It's very impersonal. You so, mm, so we decided no movie making. We'd rather put out a video a week later or a couple of days later. Yes. Okay, then um, Mother Nature's Corners. Oh, and grooming as well. I mean, that's what you do as well. You can't just pop down to the barber. I mean, yeah, yeah, I decided yeah. I will try to do my own hair, <laughs> cutting hair. It's not always that graceful as you can see. I got lots of gaps and naps and what do you mm. um, and so that, for instance, one day the dinghy fell on the wall. We had to force and bite on it. And that was also a pretty. There's always something, <laughs> there's there's something always happening. Something and, um, then we make we run out of rum, so you need to make oh, rum yeah. on a and moving we, vessel. Yeah. <laughs> the, yes. So the rum making exercise. I mean, we we did have something on 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 making a rum. Mm. But yeah, you, you need to make the wash, you need to make the sugar and mix the water and put the yeast in. And it's like a, that the whole process is almost like a one to two days yeah. exercise. But then you need to let the yeast go and uh, make uh, just And like, yeast away, what yeah. it does. <laughs> and when it's, it's basically going. eating sugar and pipi yeah. pissing out alcohol, basically. That's, that's how someone told it to me. Uh, what we did pick up, it takes longer whilst at sea because of all the motion. Yeah, normally it takes around five days, but when yeah, we at sea, it maybe it takes maybe <laughs> sometimes even 14, two weeks. <laughs> yeah, and then, takes... okay, then we take the wash, we have to prepare the wash and let it all the, the yeast basically need to settle down. And then we put it into the urn and that is like we need to make sure that the lithium battery is full because it's 2000 watts. Uh, it cooks for all a long the time, time for about five hours um, so we have to make sure that yes we we either going to get very soon starting the engines or there's enough sun and there's enough wind yeah, that those are the it's things a that we, big train but yeah, we, yeah we normally during those days we have to start the engine somewhere just to make sure that we don't drain the lithiums completely 2000 watts for five hours is, is, is a lot I mean, in between we, we, we sail. I mean, it's adjusting sails, checking the course, changing the course if need be. So you're, all, you're always permanently busy sailing. On the it's sails, on the big sails, how we handle the, the code D and the code zero, how we, how we jibe or how we tack with these big sails. Um, that will be a separate uh, episode that we will do. Um, the, the general sailing, how we sail a mm. catamaran, and many people say a catamaran needs to build up speed before it's tacking. I'll show you guys that we tack actually at two knots, yeah. 2.5 knots, and we keep the two point. Oh, we don't really keep it, and we go down a little I, bit. I sometimes make a bagger up and I need to start. <laughs> For instance, yeah, that is like yeah. one of the disasters. Is but that what happens that keeps you busy is yeah, I, I have to keep him busy. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a complete different story uh, uh, complete yeah. I think that should be one episode on but its that, own but it where I'm telling you how I got rid of the fishing lines in the prop yeah, it involves fishing lines and a prop, <laughs> a moving yeah, yeah, prop. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is the, the, the danger about it the moment you know you might have fishing lines in a prop or actually just in a rudder as well you cannot activate the motors you cannot activate the props because the fishing lines even though it's just fishing lines, they will tighten and it will actually break your seal. So 
we don't want that. So you cannot use that engine as long as there's fishing lines around the prop. I put it this way, ever since that episode, I've been paranoid. <laughs> yeah, the line. moment I say, ah, attacking, she runs to the back and check the fishing lines, whether the fish lines will not go underneath oh, the Oh, and I'm on duty, I say, I want to bring in the fishing lines. Now we have yeah, to a little bit paranoid <laughs> on that one, I would uh, say. I'm super paranoid about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anytime someone mentioned nasty. tacking, no, it's bringing the fishing lines. No, <laughs> just keep the speed. Just keep the speed. Yeah. That wasn't a good experience. And then also cooking. Eh? Mm. Peter is making a mean fish. Eh? And, and there's a lot of how she's preparing it, how we cut the fish, how we fillet the fish, and all the little sprinkles of our own herbs that we have. We put our own herbs in. Yeah, right. my herb garden is actually right. still surviving. <laughs> Yeah, Almost it's actually still there. Miles further. I think the what is the only one that's not there anymore? The chili. That's my, my curry, my curry plant. I'm very, I was very sad to lose that all the way from South Africa. But um, yeah, during our trip back to South Africa when we were in Mandela, upon return they just didn't make it. So that was a bit of a sad one. But otherwise, the rest is all 100% fine and we cook with it and then you try to be innovative as well uh, just not to put a boring plate of food out yeah, when the going stuff then obviously just a one bowl dish is fine but i try to make it interesting even if yeah, it just looks she's good. making nice fish fish cakes what's that thing fish cakes yeah, yeah fish, fish cakes. cakes and pudding and yeah so we we, we did caught pie. four fish and <laughs> she made the most out of it so we yeah, had fish yeah. cakes we had fish fingers, we had fish batter, beer, batter, beer, beer, beer batter, batter, and that fish. was awesome fish. Yeah. And we and had um, uh, that Mandela dish, the capu capu capucha. Carpuccia? Yeah, with, with she fish. makes it, what I, I don't like capucha that much. I actually like beans, bean soup, soup from South Africa, which my dad is like excellent. And Peter actually doing the same with the beans, the mixed beans from, from Cape Verde. Um, also, we, 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 we make pancakes, so I even tried to flip a couple yeah, of pancakes. Yeah, I showed you the pancake. I showed it to them. When they, they oh, yeah, you did? Oh, yeah, he can cook. <laughs> Am I already famous for that? Um, okay, and then yeah. also, we, we, the speed lock at one point started to giving us hassles, um, yeah. and we had to fix those things while we at sea. So you one pluck go. the bladdy thing out and Ooh. big fountain of water in 6,000, six not feet, meters <laughs> of water. It's just one to come into, into the boat. So yeah, you fix that. But that will be also a different episode because there's certain symptoms that you need to look out for. Mm -hmm. that. And so that will be a, Oh, and of course, it always on Pietro's shift. It, it's like, it actually, all of these things is yeah, happening on your shift. Yeah. And it it's happens really at night. It doesn't happen me. a day. <laughs> That we, we lost the spinnaker twice. I'm sure he twice. plans this. I'm sure he plans this. Just to give me a rough time at night. <laughs> yeah. I have a direct connection with Neptune. <laughs> so, Bring it on. But anyway, so the spinnaker, we actually had to fish out the water twice. Um, and that keeps us busy. And then we have to fix these lines. Because lines is now broken. We need to make now, get new lines. Or like where the... the, the the tack of the spinnaker was attached to the little box stays. That device is broken, so you need to make new, you need to improvise, right? You need to, a lot of improvising. what you call, the sailors call it jerry rig. You need to jerry rig something to actually get the spinnaker flying again. Um, we need to make the ropes. If there are, if there are, I know there's no ropes, but if it breaks, it's useless. And if there's no purpose for, a line then it it's called a rope, a rope. <laughs> so we have a couple of ropes <laughs> that we need All to make into sudden. lines again <laughs> so and, then, and then cleaning i mean it's just like being at your house as well you need to clean it's permanent cleaning going on um, the salt is building up on the outside yeah. at the amazing does, right and, and inside on the inside I, i've never seen so much filth on the inside of a boat i mean you're on water so and where does this stuff come from we are filthy <laughs> yes, and I'm parent. Just I'm bad, and you clean every single day. You clean, but it's like the salt on the deck. So you walk inside, and the salt s sticks to your feet. So it's yeah. all over the loose rags that you have. And, and what you people don't realize, it. we lose our skin. We have a new skin every six days. Where is the old skin going? The old skin is going floating around. So hey, yes. now if you just do this, some hair is falling out. And I brush my hair outside. 
at the furthest point where the wind blows it away because it's amazing yeah, so how much energy. There's a lot of things that, that we as humans actually on a daily basis shed that we don't mm. actually realize. So that needs to be cleaned. Mm. Then also from um, like the salt on the on the stanchions. I need to clean the salt on a daily basis. Not on a daily basis, maybe say on a two weekly basis. You need to go through all the stanchions and making sure that the salt is off because there's a lot of salt built up as a spray. Um, if you go downwind, it's not that much, but if you go upwind, a sure. lot of spray. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just built up on all the stanchions. So you need to go and make sure that all the chrome is nicely done and, and, and the stanchions is clean. Yeah, so cleaning, cleaning tables cleaning is a big, big part quite a of, big part of the day as well. Yeah. And then it's as, as dishes, it's washing, clothing, it's bedding, it's everything. It's as I said, it's like you at home, but it just seems to get dirtier than what you at home. And if you do a lot of beating, especially on a new boat, uh, I think old boats maybe not as much, but maybe old boats of new stays or the, the the shrouds, you need to check. So if if we go into the wind, the pressure on the sail is to this side. In this shroud on on the leeward side. You can see it's losing tension. If you if you hit a wave, you can feel the the, the rigging is making this shuddering thing. So then you know your your your, your shrouds is maybe not tensioned enough. So you need to tension the shrouds, and you you, you don't have a tensioning like a, a, a what is these things a tension cable tension meter. So you need to make sure that it is tensioned, but not too much, yeah? so that you break the. First of all, making the holes going like that, or and secondly, also that you actually the chain plates you can damage them. So you need to make sure that you tighten it just enough, not too much. That's one of the things. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah so there's a lot of cleaning going on and checking and things. Yeah. You know, ad hoc stuff, stuff that happens on a daily basis. And one night, and this might be a, a thing. You might recall. In a CISU spec walkthrough that we've done, that I said uh, um, we've got two lines for the for the life raft, mm -hmm. two quick release buttons because uh, one single quick release is it's pretty dangerous, especially if it's on the outside. Out together by two two lines. This one line I can just pull here and it will open up and then it will release, and that one just pull here and it will open up and it will release. Then it will fall over. We will not lose it, but we will <laughs> deploy it. Um, and I don't think I can put it back. It's one of those genies that comes out of the bottle and cannot be put back. The genie got out of the bottle one night. On um, my watch again. Yeah, we have no idea how it happened. We, we, we can speculate how it happened mm. and the moment we know more about it, we can actually tell you guys what happened. But, but one night she just called me, ah, oh, we have pirates chasing us. And it's like, I come up and I look outside, it's like, Oh, there's a police actually, the Coast this Guard chasing us. There's a flashing light right behind the boat, following yeah, us. Yeah, and it's like literally, the flashing light is 10 meters from the boat. It's like oh, so no, freaking close. It must be the Coast Guard, it cannot be pirates. Because pirates only have a nice flashing light. And then I realized, oh, the Coast Guard is actually chasing us in a tent. <laughs> in a brightly colored tent. <laughs> It was our life raft. was our life raft. Yeah, but we'll tell you more about that. Yeah, once, that, once yeah the more the more we get around that. that yeah. But you see, so exciting things is happening at night, um, always at night. With our Patreon on board. Oh, yeah, yeah and the Patreon was on board too. Thank goodness Luckily he was on board. Because <laughs> it was a mission to get that baby back on board. Oh, yeah. 50 kgs. Yeah. And yeah. they need a sea anchor, so the sea yeah, anchors are actually mission. keeping him in the water. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it. In a nutshell, is our days, and they, they differ every single day. So, so you you're pretty tired at the end of the day. There's never a moment that we could say that we sat and did nothing. There is just no such moments. No, 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 there is moments that I just feel. Oh, now I need to go and sleep. Yeah, but that's yeah, where you and take then a nap. Just doze no, off. that's where you take a nap the, during the it day. It is the first three days. I would say it's, it's never yes. getting used to. The, not really three days. I would say two days. Even our Patreon. On the second day, after uh, episode of Neptune, everything just gets much easier. Yeah? You just get, I, I would say, 
I, one of our our yati buddies was telling us we've got day one, day two, day three, and then the rest of the days. And that's basically what it is. Day two, one, two, and three is where you get into the rhythm, and after that you're fine. That's you don't so need to worry. You just carry on day by day, and it is you, there's always something to do. And you know, most most of the time you. You might think of just lazing the day, but we actually it never have time. No. time to do that. You can snooze by you for an hour or maybe 20 minutes, and most of the time there's a lot to do on a passage. No, but I don't, I don't consider that as, as what, just lazing away. You need to sleep because yeah, yeah. your night duties you have to be awake. So, um, yeah, so no, you, have to, you have to have a sleep during the day as well when you're on passage. You have to have at yeah, least especially one if sleep. you know. You you going to the you know what what was my favorite shift? Can you like the ten, ten o'clock shift? I want to stay awake till ten o'clock and then I be on on a shift because it's just like a late night. I'm a software engineer, so I will always have a late night. Pietro <laughs> is is she she's not an early bird, so she wants to have that sleep in that and she sleep sleeps in till one o'clock in the afternoon. She. Uh, that's all that bad. <laughs> I wish I could, but okay. I can't. Say, half past twelve. <laughs> no. no way. <laughs> yeah, so, so you, you, you kind of like get yeah, into that rhythm, but, but I like my, you, yeah, you sleep, you actually stay awake till late, and then you have one morning shift from four o'clock till seven o'clock. So every, every second night you have a good night. Yeah, every second night you have a good night, and then... You can also sleep in, very light sleep. It's actually a very nice yeah, ship. Yeah, that's there. a nice ship. So one night a good night, the other night a not so good night. Yeah, and then, and then that person during the day mm. feels very sleepy and very tired. And, 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 and then it will sleep more, yeah. The moment you feel like you want to sleep, you just sleep because mm -hmm. that's when your body tells you you want to sleep. You need to shut down, yeah. yeah but so I won't say there's a boring day on passage. Mm -hmm. Never, never. And then we have our moments where we take out the guitar and the drums because we're still busy learning how to play the guitar and drums. And then we, yeah, have, we have a jam, this, jamming we have this session. Big thing about we will become musicians. <laughs> <laughs> we need to learn some instruments. So yeah, so then we jam a bit and mm. yeah. So there is that as that's, well. That's yeah. a day, a typical day, but there's always working more. Always and you mean reading books? We've got e-books. We're reading a lot of e-books. And that's it. And that's it. So we'd like to hear from you. What you think. Yeah, what do you do on passages? What do you do on passages? Yeah. Is it any different? I'm sure that... I don't know. <laughs> but we haven't I think been a very, very contentious thing is what is other people doing on... Uh, what is the night watchers? Mm, yeah, because we heard some yatis doing six or five hours. Oh, five oh, hours. Oh, I yeah. cannot stay awake for five hours. It's, it's just for me impossible to stay awake. Yeah, what works for you? Mm. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of different ones. We found this is the one that yeah. for us works for us. So if you've got any better suggestions, we'll try it. So yeah, and we do exercise when we on watch. Yeah, we stretching. Keep busy, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I do my th my ten thousand steps, and I do squats. <laughs> well, I try to stretch, stretch a lot because we both get horrible back aches. So yeah, yeah just stretch these hands. I think it's the movement of the the butt is doing this constantly. Yeah, that's so interesting. Your, your core, pains your you core muscles have. is working all the time. So you, I think they they get. And tighten mm -hmm. or tighten up. So you need to do a lot of stretch exercises. Mm -hmm. I think many sailors think they need a better bedding mattress. No, we've got perfect mattress. We have perfect so mattress, but still we have ba yeah. back aches. So, but when we do the stretching all the time, it we works. actually it, we we can go without. through the night without mm -hmm. having yeah. a back ache. Well, it'd be interesting to know if you picked up other aches and pains while on passage <laughs> yes and what's your your experience about yeah, passages yeah. what do you do differently <laughs> we don't catch fish no, so if you if you know how to catch fish, yeah, we, don't catch fish. we try we, we catch do fish. try you get us and we don't try I stuck up for fish recipes uh, but if you guys can tell us how to catch fish don't tell us we're in the wrong ocean please don't tell us yeah, along the lines must be like yeah don't ask short, ask questions tell us yeah. The, the secret. No? Yeah, we've tried just about every conceivable yeah. thing there is available. 
No, what what makes so anyway we don't catch fish <laughs> we do a lot of things but that's what we don't do <laughs> not because we want to bye